Uh, but we're very pleased to announce that we do have a new contractor on board. Uh, MCO will be taking over the work that was left behind by Hubtech. After sitting idle for three months, construction will finally resume on the Agate Umatic Road. Department of Public Works Director Joanne Brown this morning announced that MCO General Construction will complete work on the Route 2 culverts and side repair project. The former contractor Hubtech was fired in March for what Brown called a lack of performance and for numerous EPA and contract violations. This is one of the rare moments. I mean, I, I've continuously heard that DPW has very rarely ever fired a contractor. Uh, but in this particular case, we felt it was necessary in order for this project to move forward and also meet the standards that, that we expect, that certainly our partners, Federal Highway, also expect in terms of road construction. It was a decision that had to be made. MCO has been given 200 calendar days to complete the project at a cost of $3.8 million, all coming from Federal Highway funds. Brown says the problems with Hubtech brought added costs to the project, but that there are many lessons to be learned. Our contracting procedures, we're currently evaluating what would be the best recommendations that we would put forth to the administration as well as Guam legislature to improve the quality of evaluations and standards on how we select contractors. While Southern residents might have been getting impatient with the time lapse in construction, Brown says that the contract was awarded fairly quickly for the government. DPW employees even sat in on meetings with the EPA. It would be very rare, certainly at our level, that we would sit in on these type of meetings normally. Our consultants and contractors and their representatives would take care of these issues. Uh, but because of the emergency situation of our need uh, on behalf of the government to move this project forward, and also Governor Calvo has made it very clear he wants this issue addressed as soon as possible. He also facilitated through his office uh, processing this contract. So this is not a normal process that would happen for any contract going through uh, for the department.